I'm Jamie Latour, and this is how to complete the Wind Temple in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The Wind Temple is the final destination along Tulin's questline, which you'll find at Rito Village in the northwest portion of the map. This region will be extremely cold, so make sure to pack some warm clothes and food or elixirs that will give you cold resistance. There will be plenty of spicy peppers along the way to Rito Village, and cooking these will give you sautéed peppers, which will give you varying amounts of cold resistance depending upon how many you cook. After you found Tulin and can use his wind gust ability, and you climbed up the floating platforms and bounced on the ships with the trampolines, you'll dive bomb into the center of the giant blizzard to arrive on top of the wind temple. When you get here, you'll briefly spot Princess Zelda and be startled by a giant gust of wind. Once you regain control, interact with the Zonai pedestal. This will create a fast travel point, and you'll see that the giant hatch in the middle is blocked from opening by five locks, which will be highlighted on your map. Now we need to find those locks. For the first lock, if you head north of the hatch, you'll come to this spot with two levers, one of which will be broken. The side with the intact lever will just have a Zonai construct enemy and a chest with an opal inside. To fix the broken lever, use your Ultra Hand ability to attach an icicle to it and create a makeshift lever. Then use Ultra Hand again to open it. Inside will be the lock, which will look like a fan. Luckily for you, you have a bird boy who can create giant gusts of wind by your side. So use Tulin's ability on the fan to open up the first lock. Now from this lock, head to the right and you'll come across this ledge. Jump over the ledge and glide into this entrance below. There will be a few keys and another Zonai construct enemy here. Now you'll see this gap with ice on the sides, so find a way over that. I used the ascend ability to get up here, and then I jumped and glided over it. But there's probably another more efficient way of doing it, but well, you know, whatever works. Over here, there will be a lever that you can pull that will open up a window, which is basically a shortcut, and another Zonai construct enemy with a ruby sword that will throw fireballs at you. After that thing is dead, look above you to see the broken ceiling and ascend through that. Take a left and you'll see this strange, broken contraption hanging from the ceiling. Now use Ultra Hand to grab this nearby slab and attach it to the contraption, like so. Then use that slab, like a crank, to turn this wheel, which will open up the gate slightly above the ladder to the side of you. However, when you let go of the crank, the gate will immediately close. So use Recall on it to rewind time and allow you to go up the ladder through the open gate. Climb up the next ladder, kill the Zonai construct above, and use Tulin's Wind on the next lock here. For the third lock, go back to the icy gap that you just went over and glide down that gap to here. Kill the Zonai construct below and blow on that third lock. For lock number four, use the updraft from the hatch to glide upwards. Head to the north towards the tall part of the temple. Once you're up here, use Ultra Hand to open up the door. Below, you'll see a steep drop with various laser traps. They're not too deadly, as all they seem to do is close off the various alcoves on the side. The fourth lock will be in an alcove close to the bottom of the drop. For the final lock, head this way from the fast travel point towards this ledge that you can jump over. Drop off the ledge, and you'll see an opening blocked off by icicles. Use your bow or a weapon to break through them and head inside. Deal with the keys, and then use recall on this giant wheel to make it go backwards, allowing you to get to the other side. Then kill the Zonai construct and use the nearby lever to open up another window shortcut. You'll be at this closed gate with gears, and as you can see, there's a piece missing in the middle. Luckily, there's an easy fix for this. Look above you and shoot down one of the icicles with your bow. Grab it with Ultra Hand and attach it to the gears, like so, to fill in the missing piece and open up the gate. Use Gust on the lock, and that's all the locks done. 
Now ascend back up to the top and interact with the Zonai pedestal to open up the hatch. Soon after you open up the hatch, you'll get a cutscene introducing the Wind Temple's boss, Kolgara. As you might have suspected by this temple's theme and the fact that Kolgara is a flying boss, this fight will mostly take place in the air. Kolgara has three weak points on his body that have a layer of ice that you need to break through to hit them. They're easier to strike from below as they'll be protected by a spiky shell on top. However, one of Kolgara's attacks is to crack these shells and send the spikes flying upwards towards you, which exposes the weak points from above. A pretty dumb move. When you have a clear shot at these weak points, pull out your bow to slow down time and fire arrows at them. If you fuse items with your arrows, such as fire fruits or bomb flowers, you'll break through the ice and shatter the weak points faster. Kogera doesn't have a ton of offensive moves. His main attack is to disappear inside of a giant orb, and then the orb will reappear and Kogera will just shoot out of it. After you break its weak points once, it'll go into an orb and when it comes back, its weak points will be restored. And it'll begin summoning giant tornadoes that you'll need to avoid. Just keep hitting its weak points with arrows to beat this boss. You should have tons of arrows from just exploring the world, but make sure to have a healthy supply to make this boss fight easier. If you found the glide vest, it's a good idea to equip that as well to make moving through the air a bit more manageable. Once you've shattered the weak points a second time, Kolgara will be defeated and you'll be finished with the Wind Temple. You'll get some exposition about the story and after that, you'll have access access to Tulin's Wind Gust ability whenever you want to use it. For more Tears of the Kingdom news and guides, check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.